and welcome. You're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Abigail Carmeli bringing to the Salesian news across the globe. For the hundreds of Salesian brothers who came to Rome for the canonization of Artemide Zatti SDP, the moments of celebration, spirituality, communion and gratitude are not yet over. The organizing committee that took care of all events related to the canonization also prepared a pilgrimage in Don Bosco's footsteps for all of them. Begun on Saturday, October 8, with the discovery of the places lived and frequented by the saint of the young in the capital of Italy, the program is completed these days in Turin, Castelnovo, Don Bosco, and in the traditional Salesian sites of Piedmont. The bus is transporting more than 650 Salesian coadjutors participating in the pilgrimage left early yesterday, Monday, October 10, from the Sacred Heart in Rome, arriving in Turin in the evening. The canonization of Artemide Zatti was an event that filled all of Argentina with joy and pride, the country where the Salesian coadjutor spent his entire life of dedication to the sick and the poorest. Although born in Italy, he lived in Argentina from the age of 17 until his death, and has thus been called the third Argentine saint after Saint Hector Valdivelso Saez and Saint Jose Gabriel del Rosario, better known in his homeland as the Cura Brochero. That is why yesterday, Monday, October 10, at the Argentine National Church in Rome, Argentine Cardinal Leonardo Sandri, Prefect of the Dicastery for the Eastern Churches, presided over a Mass of Thanksgiving for Zati's canonization for the Argentine faithful gathered in Rome. The Mass was also concelebrated by the Rector Major Father Angel Fernandez Artime, the Postulator General of the Causes of Saints of the Slesian Family, Father Piolugi Cameroni, Father Gabriel Romero, Councillor for the America South Cone Region, Father Manuel Cayo, Provincial of Peru, Father Ricardo Campoli of the Social Communications Department, the Rector of the National Church of Argentina and Rome, Father Fabian Alesso and other pre Salesians and non Salesians. The Salesian family of Belarus concluded the 100th anniversary celebrations of Salesian presence and activities in the country's territory. The concluding solemn events were held over the weekend of September 24 and 25. Saturday's program was designed for young people and featured the Don Bosco Youth Fest celebration. In the morning, the registered participants gathered in Barwaliani and from there, in an organized group, went to an open-air camp of the Belarus Film, Film Studios, where a historical treasure hunt based on the activities of the Slesians in Belarus took place. Young people divided into 12 teams competed to find the chalice of Don Bosco as if it had been stolen and hidden somewhere inside the camp. The participants then went to Minsk to the Church of St. John the Baptist. Together with the Salesians, they participated in an evening of adoration and praise accompanied by meditation and song and concluded with the thought of Salesian goodnight offered by Father Pavel Sherbatsky, Provincial Delegate for the Salesian Presence in Belarus, dependent on the Polish Warsaw Province PLE. On Sunday, September 25, the festive program continued, culminating with a solemn mass of thanksgiving for the Salesian Society's sentinel activity in that land. As part of activities to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Salesian National Education Council, the Salesian Educational Fair was held on October 6 and 7 at the facilities of the Domingo Comint Educational Unit in Guayaquil. The event was attended by 120 students from 16 Salesian educational centers who exhibited their best projects in the scientific, technical and interdisciplinary fields. On the opening day, Father Angel Lazo, Vicar of the Salesian Province of Ecuador, together with Father Lajimir Acosta, President of CONESA, Marco Vinicio Arias, Director of the Zemena, Wanted District of the Ministry of Education and Dr. Lissant Luna of the Quill City Council cut the opening ribbon of the fair. Also present at the opening ceremony were the Vice Chancellor of the Quill UPS Office, rectors, vice rectors, teachers, students, and parents. The purpose of holding this activity was to celebrate the path travel by Salesian educational institutions and networking through a space where the protagonists are the students and they themselves share their innovative ideas with society, school delay and vulnerability. Skills Development and Employment for Youth was launched at Don Bosco Boys Town on 6 October 2022. This is an initiative of the Kentia Catholic Conference of Bishops, KCCB, in partnership with Educans and International Education Organization founded in the Netherlands and AFAS Foundation. 
Educans promotes quality education and youth employability. They aim to create opportunities through a system change for marginalized children and youth through quality education, training and innovation for a better future in life and work as entrepreneurs. Boys Town was chosen as a model technical school by the KCCB. There were many dignitaries present from the site of the Catholic Church, various technical schools and the government of Kenya representing TVET and Educans including its CEO. So viewers, with that, we have come to the end of today's edition. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.